This is our 1986 winner by Brian McKay. It's entitled Christ, the Word of God. The scriptural theme taken, was taken from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, where the beginning, of course, that beautiful beginning to John's Gospel, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So here we have um, Brian McKay putting ideas together using words. The Word of God is this extraordinary divine human person. Um, who he symbolised in the middle. And in a sense it describes God as being both completely humbled in, in human form and yet completely and utterly transcendent as well. The hands are really important. And the left hand with that tiny red dot in it um, speaks of all that is evil, all that leads to death. In Latin the word sinister means the left. So the left hand side is about um, death, about loss, about evil and its influence. But here we have the right hand raised in triumph and that right hand of Jesus on the cross. He simplified the figure so much that we don't see the head of Christ as it's fallen forward. But what we do end up with is these beautiful letters, this, these beautiful words, and even in the very dark section of the top, which speaks of the nothingness before this, the nothingness before the Paschal mystery, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. So, in relief, there are some words up there too, but they've now been obscured, and it comes to life, and it comes to light through Jesus Himself. Very wonderful, Matt, isn't it? Do you know that? Words and um, what particularly strikes me with this one is that if the camera comes close up to the surface above here, you will see the subtlety um, that is, it is there, but it has to be brought out, it has to be looked for, and it's very, very nuanced. But quite all in, in the, um, the graphic writing, um, of course, over here we have the Still, the scraping of the, the paint onto the surface. Highly textured, um, a, a typical technique that um, McKay uses. Um, Very metallic looking, reflecting a similar a painting of his that we'll see later in this exhibition as well, Chromatic 